There's no way I can do much in this lane. It's better off for me to go jungle and just let the Razor free farm. And at least I'm getting something in return in the jungle. He'll be walking into the trees there, munching his way through. Ice Eyes could be stuck in a corner there. There's going to be Dire Creeps coming back in. The smash comes in. And all they have the Poison Touch. They're going to be able to get a kill general. The Barrow Shack, they're setting up the creep. And here comes the Poison Touch onto Asta. Oh, back down. I mean, this is just absolutely merciless coming out. Caustic Finale doing its work. Artstyle getting healed up by Ambulance Whip. Seneco coming back on through. Do they have oh, a damage to down Shadow? Looks like he's going to be turning in rage and they want to get something done here. He's going to get the Shallow Grave on himself. And now Innocence skirting his way back just goes in with that one point and shrew can toss. But Seneco letting go underneath the tower. There is going to be the Burrow Strike available. They want to go in. They will connect onto Ice Ice. That's going to be another kill onto the Dazzle. They don't have vision onto the bounty just yet. General's going to be getting away safely. Oh, no. Navi are completely in control of the early game. Is that where you expect them to be, or is this big misplace for oh, Wings? Here comes the Sand King once more. Oh, they're going back in. The Burrow Strike connects. Faith Beyond, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> there's going to be a bird slapping out tornadoes every which way. Now General going to be in some trouble there. Might end up going down there, but they have a lockdown on Innocence. They are going to be going in. Shen, what a hero there. The Poison Touch will eventually finish off the Sand King. He goes in trying to deny to neutrals, and he's not going to be able to do so. Dazzle gets the credit for that kill. But, Face, but this is extremely good for um, Navi, and they're going to ensnare up Ice Ice and the double Burrow Strike onto two heroes. There. Oh my, this is just absolutely bloody. I was looking mid lane because there was almost a kill onto the Huskar, but they're looking for more here. They're looking to turn no, this on the offensive. Right. He's going to get him. Can he actually connect though? It's going to be Juke and City. Nope. Wrap around General. Finally has that epicenter pickup. Maybe they look for something on the back lines. There is going to be that chemical rage coming in. They're going on to Innocence. They will bring in the Razor Ultimate. Oh my gosh. Get your raw with a fraction of health. Still able to go through and get the picks. Shallow Grave can only keep Ice Eyes alive for so long. He's just going to go get slapped up by the spirits. And finally, Razor picks up a double kill. The Dandy Dandy was spotted on top lane alone, so this oh. is the right play by Wings. They're going in here. They are going to be able to get the jump. They will go in. Immediate roar pops out. Dendi not going to be able to deal with this one. And there's going to be the hand of God to try to keep him alive. He goes to the plasma field. And they are going to go in the relocate. Did your raw laying in the damage of Fates Beyond. He's got nothing there to stop him. The Shadow Grave comes out from Ice Eyes. But now he's going to be the target. Gets Burrow struck up. And a couple more flaming spears. That's going to be a very, very dead dazzle. And just raw burn damage is going to be able to go through. Oh my golly gee. Just, yeah, I, mean, I think Wings were holding, just hoping to have that landing phase where they can just hold out, but unfortunately not going to be doing any of that. These masters' final breath is that primal roar, but it's not going to be doing enough. Meanwhile, in the back line, the RBC found Shadow, the GG comes out.